Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. This time I'm going to show you a comparison between the copy-paste feature on a bunch, bunch of different uh, platforms. So here we are, we have the new BlackBerry Torch, the Samsung Galaxy S 4G, it is one of the latest Android devices. We have a uh, iPod Touch 4G, so that's um, iOS. We have Windows Phone 7. We have the Nokia N8, and you're probably looking at this saying, what the heck is that? So yes, this is a device from 2002-2003. So we're going to use that to show you what copy-paste was like you know, within the last decade. Let's try that one first. This one comes with a great little stylus, so you see it's just like a regular computer. And I select the text, copy, and then I can go into something else like a note and just paste it right there. So that's pretty easy. Of course this works in anything. Go to a calendar appointment. Thank you very much, Carl Arm. And you can put it into the notes. And if you had a keyboard, you could also do Control V. And I can do Shift. And I can do selections like this. Okay, all all that can could be done with a keyboard as well. So there's your old. This is actually Windows Mobile 5 from 2005. It's on a 2003 device, but. There's copy and paste for that one. Next, let's look at the latest Windows Phone 7 and see how copy and paste works on this one. So, what we do is we tap a letter, or a word rather, and you get a little selection handles. And you can just drag it to select whatever amount of text you want. And then you get this little button. To some users, it might be confusing what does that mean? you know, it's some kind of icon, but most people will recognize that as the copy button from Office and uh, many other Microsoft programs. So you just copy that, and then I can go into something else. And there's the paste button. You can recognize that as a paste button. And it goes in pretty easily, you want to paste again. There's no keyboard shortcuts for this, but the button is pretty nice, pretty easy to access that. Next, let's try iOS. So on iOS, we uh, tap, and there's my little selection handlebars, and I can drag them out. You can also get to the whole box. So that one jumped to the whole paragraph. And got a little zoom so you can really specifically choose which characters to select. Okay, and then we do copy. And go to any other program. Tap and hold and paste. Do it again. So there you go, iOS. Pretty easy. Next up, let's try Android. So here we are. What we do... I tapped on the wrong thing. And tap on the text, hold it there, and then we get the little handlebar. And you got the zoom up so you can see exactly which letters you're selecting. And then we have some buttons up here, and that one looks like copy. And it says it was copied to the clipboard. So there we go, and we can go into a new message. and tap and hold and then paste. 
Pretty easy there too. You can do that anywhere. Next, how about the Nokia N8? Okay, so what you do when you get an email open, you gotta tap and drag, and then a little copy button comes up, but it is kind of difficult to get everything in there. You don't really have much control. So this copy button just keeps popping up, and we, I really want to select different things. There we go. Now down here, I can paste it. If I go into this menu. So that's kind of a pain. Not terribly easy. And it's even worse when you're trying to copy stuff from a web page. So kind of difficult on the Nokia N8. And lastly, we have the BlackBerry Torch. So let's see the browser. So the BlackBerry, we can tap and hold, and you can get, get the uh, select button. That gives us two big handlebars where we can drag and zoom. And you don't have to drag like right on top of it. You can see the edge a little bit through the window. Same with up here. Okay, then we can tap and hold, and there's your copy button. You can also get the selection mode from the menu. And I can use the little trackball thing and copy like that. So that's pretty nice. And then we can go. And I can go into a Twitter app or whatever, tap and hold and paste, or I can do the full menu and paste. So there you go. So we've got a lot of different ways of doing the same kind of thing on mobile devices. Hope you enjoyed that comparison of copy and paste features on Blackberry, Android, iOS, Windows Phone 7, old Windows Mobile 2005, and the Nokia N8. That's it for now.